Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the seventh tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to talk about dictionaries in Python. So if you worked with the Perl or PHP then you must be familiar with the concepts of hashes and associative arrays. So a dictionary in Python is uh, similar to hashes in Perl or associative arrays in PHP. And uh, what a dictionary means is, if you work with an Oxford dictionary, and I'm sure you guys have, then uh, what we see in an Oxford dictionary uh, is that you have lots of words, and then those words have meaning. So a dictionary in Python is similar to an Oxford dictionary in the sense that instead of words, you have keys, and then instead of their meanings, you have values to those keys. Right, so there are two ways of creating a dictionary in Python and we're going to check out both ways in this tutorial. The first method is you give in a name to your dictionary. So I'm going to call mine address and then you use the assignment operator or the equal to symbol and you follow that up with a pair of curly braces and you don't have to type in anything between the curly braces. You know, since this is the first way, there is another way in which you have to type in your keys and values between the curly braces. But then in this method, you just have to, you know, get an empty curly braces and when we create strings we use uh, the single quotes or double quotes or triple quotes and when we create lists we use the square brackets when we create tuples we use the parentheses with dictionaries we have to use the curly braces and I'll press the enter key now so my dictionary has been created it doesn't have any data at the moment but it's there in the memory right so let's say I am uh, you know I'm, I'm creating an address book in which I want to have names of people as the words or the keys and their email addresses as the meanings or values, right? So I'll add my data by typing the name of my dictionary address and then within square brackets, I'll type in my key. So let's say I'm adding the email address of John and John is a string value, so that's why I'll have to enclose it within double quotes and keys don't necessarily have to be string values. They can be, you know, numeric values as well. So I'll do this and then I'll type in the equal to symbol and then the value for it. So let's say the email address of John is John at the rate gmail.com right i'll press the enter key and there you go my first key value relationship within the address dictionary has been created so i'll add in more uh, data to this dictionary so let's say i also want to add the email address of adam so equal to symbol and then uh, again the email uh, field is also a string value so that's why i'll have to enclose it within double quotes adam at gmail.com and then uh, I'll add another value, Peter, right? So the email address of Peter can be peter at gmail.com, right? So I have three key value relationships uh, in this dictionary at the moment. And if you want to see the contents of your dictionary, then you can use the print function. Of course, within parentheses, I'll just type in the name of my dictionary, which is address. And when I press the enter key, there you go. I see the data displayed to me within curly braces so you know print function has made it obvious to me that this data is in a dictionary and you see that the colon is used as the separator between the keys and values so adam colon adam at gmail.com this is a key value relationship and then there's a comma symbol that separates the first key value relationship with the second key value relationship and then john is a key and then john at gmail.com is a value to it and peter is a key and peter at gmail.com is a value for this key right the second way of creating a dictionary is uh, as follows you have to supply the name of your dictionary again and i'll call this one new and then you type in the curly braces but this time you have to mention your keys and values within the curly braces right and i somehow prefer this way because you know, I don't like this way. For some reason, I just like the second way. And uh, let's say I want to have my first key as uh, Apple, right? And I'll uh, add a description to Apple as a value. So I'll type in Apple within single quotes. And just the way we saw print displaying the output of the dictionary to us on the previous line, we're going to use the same syntax to create our dictionary. So I'll type in a colon symbol to separate the key Apple with the value for Apple. And Apple is a fruit. So I'll simply type in that. And let's say I want to have another key value relationship. So I'll get a comma symbol. And then uh, let's say my second key is going to be iPhone, right? So oops, there's a typo there. So iPhone and then uh, the value uh, for it, obviously I'll have to you know get the uh, colon symbol here to separate the key iPhone with its value. And iPhone is what? It's a phone. So, you know, that's a no brainer. And then, uh, Let's say I'll have a numeric key now. So 
I'll have seven as a key and then uh, the description to seven can be a string value. So seven is a number, right? So that's uh, good enough. When I press the enter key, my dictionary has been created and I don't necessarily have to use the print function to see the content of uh, the dictionary. I can just type in the name of the dictionary and the enter key. And uh, when I do that, I see that the keys and values have been displayed. Apple is a fruit, iPhone is a phone and seven is a number, right? Uh, next, what we're going to see is how we can simply see the keys in a dictionary and not the values. So what you have to do for that is type in the name of your dictionary and then use the dot operator and type in the keys method, right? So you type in K E Y S and then follow that up with a pair of empty parentheses. And when you press the enter key, you see that you see only the keys in your address dictionary, which the keys are Adam, John and Peter. And if you just want to see the values, then you type in the name of your dictionary, you know, then the dot operator and then values, right? With the empty parentheses, you press the enter key and there you go, you just see the values. So that's it for now. In the next tutorial, we are going to talk about data type conversion in Python, which is again, very important. And I hope you guys are having uh, fun this course and uh, you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Uh, till then, take care.